What's up guys, welcome to your ninth, I think it's the ninth Premiere Pro tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be going over probably the rest of the panels. I'm um, trying to gonna go through them a little quicker since all of these are really the basics and then we can get in the, some of the more awesome advanced stuff. But uh, for now, just sit back and hold tight. So the first panel we're going to go over in this tutorial is one of the monitor panels. And pretty much all the monitor panels are the same. They each have um, a place where you can view the video and do uh, simple stuff like play it and stuff like that. It's pretty much just to view um, your work. So any anytime you can view your work, it's called one of the monitor panels. Pretty much just a preview or display. So um, again, like I said, you can play your main movie um, in this main monitor panel. I'll keep uh, my face frozen there. It looks like I'm sneezing or coughing or something. Um, another way you can go through is to slide this. And you can also toggle this little thing. Um, this is called jogging through your... Um, or jogging through your footage, I guess. Uh, it's called the tread area. Um, I really don't like to use it, but uh, I usually just use this. But if you want to use it, go ahead. And I know we didn't talk about in and out points yet, but an in and out point is pretty much the points that determine which part of your um, clip is going to be in your main movie or project. So anytime I talk about in and out, out points from uh, here on, you know that they're right here. You set them by clicking them and then going to another spot and clicking them again. Um, aside from this monitor panel, which is pretty much just like if you know how to work a VCR, you pretty much know how to work this play and that turns into stop when you want to stop it. Pretty much basics. You also have the audio mixer panel. And what this allows you to do is mix the different audio tracks on your movie. So, for example, just go to a point and you can use these little knobs right here and go left or right to adjust um, the volume and different stuff like that. You can also, um, the three main buttons you want to use are probably here. This is the mute track and that's the master mute for that track. You can also solo a track which means you only want to work with this track or uh, we're learning about recording later on but whenever we go over that's for recording. But now let's get to some uh, fun stuff actually and that is the effects panel and the effects controls panel. The effects panel is down here and this is how you add kind of special effects to your video. So say we see this video right now and we see it's uh, looking kind of bland. We can spruce it up a bit. Well our effects panel not only has audio effects but also video effects and video transitions. Audio effects are cool things you can do with audio. Uh, we'll learn about that later on. But we're mostly going to be working with video effects. Video effects are things like um, uh, just like the color, the brightness, um, distort, and this this like makes it kind of like if you're on acid or something, don't make your image look kind of weird. Um, what else we got? Video transitions under this folder. This these are different like fades and dissolves from go to one clip to another. So if you're saying, all right, how do I apply one of these effects? to my video. Well, in order to apply one of these effects to your video, just go ahead down here and go to something like, um, where was it? Oh, go to like color correction. This is should be easy to see over YouTube. And all of these things right here are effects. Make sure you aren't grabbing a folder. Then say you wanna adjust the brightness and contrast and mess with that effect. All you have to do is grab it, and I'm holding down my left mouse button, and drag it over to your clip and release. And as you can see, in my effects control panel at the top, this little brightness and contrast thing pops up right here. And now if we toggle down this little arrow, we can now adjust the brightness and contrast of our image. Let me uh, find a good one of me. And... Ooh, not bad. Ooh, yeah, right now. Give me that stink eye. All right. So in order to change the brightness or contrast, in every effect is a little bit different. Some have like little um, bars like this. Some have like little graphs. But each time you apply an effect, then it pops up to the effect control, and you can adjust the settings of that effect up here. So if you want to adjust the brightness, just go ahead and scroll this over. And as you can see, my entire video brightens up 
and if you want to adjust the contrast just go ahead and scroll this over and the lights get lighter and the darks get darker so if you uh, make it contrast and bright you can get a little um, 300 uh, what's that movie with Will Smith seven pounds that's it they use this effect a lot in that movie and if you wanna toggle the master effect on and off what you need to do is press this little button right here toggle the effect on and off and look what happens when I toggle it when you turn off you can see the total effect is gone and when you turn it on you can see the effect is back again and this is how it would render um, it isn't only for viewing purposes so um, again whenever you apply an effect click it and drag it over your main thing and then it's going to pop up in your effects controls panel at the top and then you can adjust the settings of that effect this way and again if you want to get rid of the effect you can either um, highlight it and press delete or press this little main um, effects toggle on and off but this is a cool little way to show uh, what you did with your effects uh, sometimes when you're adjusting brightness you can't see a lot of difference from the main thing so just uh, take note of that so let's go ahead and delete this by highlighting it and press delete and on that note we are done with this tutorial um, I promise there's only going to be like one more going over the workspace tutorial left and then we'll get into the real fun stuff and awesome stuff we can do with Premiere Pro and what makes it such an awesome video editing program but for now I know you gotta stick learning the basics uh, cause if I don't everyone's gonna complain and have a heart attack that I didn't teach them the basics and I'm going too fast so uh, anyways enough of me rambling on Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.